What's up, peoples? I'm yapping again. This time, today, I'm calling this video, uh, what is it? Escaping your reality using music. Because when I'm making music, that's what I feel like I'm doing. I feel like I'm transferring myself to whatever world that I'm creating using my music. Whether it's a tropical beach vibe or a spacey, you know spacey vibe on the moon type shit or maybe underwater in the jungle you know that's i can literally i can literally travel dimensions with my own two hands just by opening up fl studio and doing uh just making music and i've always used making music as a coping mechanism to deal with some of the stressors in life you know especially being a young black American male that was born into poverty, you know what I'm saying, you know, ain't, nigga, I wasn't rich, wasn't rich, and I got that big money, you know, young nigga had hoop dreams, you know what I'm saying, no, nah, real shit though, you know, I think everyone has, I think anyone who's born, who's born in like, you know, in a low income family, or has dealt with like parents splitting up, or not even having one parent, you know, growing up, this, that, and the other, you know, that can all create, you know, a lot of uh, stress and trauma for people growing up. And, you know, everyone's going to find a way to cope with that. And whether they're good, good things or bad things, everyone has, you know, their good coping mechanisms and their bad coping mechanisms. One of my good coping mechanisms is making music. And, you know, I can remember being, you know, in middle school, going through puberty and shit like that and being really depressed for no fucking reason and making music, staying up to 2 a.m. and fucking trying to make music with Street Fighter 3 sound fonts was always one of my biggest coping mechanisms. That's how I got through the days, you know what I'm saying? And... Where am I going with this? Sorry, I just smoked a nice ass joint before praying. I mean, playing this video, recording this video. So it's like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Just bear with me, though. Bear with me. You know what I'm saying? Bear with me. Uh, Yeah, you know, I use making music as a coping me mechanism, and I've been able to get really far in, uh, in doing that. You know what I'm saying? And... I always kind of rediscover my love for making music every time because, you know, once you get too comfortable, once you get too comfortable, and you've been doing this shit for a minute, you kind of get bored. You're like, oh, I'm not really having a lot of fun making music anymore, or doing whatever, drawing, making art. And then, boom, either something, I don't know, I don't know, maybe you have an, uh, an epiphany or something. Most of the time, really, something bad happens to you. You're just like, fuck, I need to go do I got to do something, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I've had both situations happen where I just had an epiphany. I'm like, oh, I need to really get on this shit. And in this case, that's what's going on right now. I'm kind of having an epiphany and I'm like, yo, I really need to get on this shit because, you know, I want to be famous. You know what I'm saying? I want to be famous. <laughs> it's such a like a very shallow thing to say but i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna lie to y'all niggas i'm gonna keep it a buck i want to be fucking famous now here's the deal right i love using i love making all these different worlds and escaping reality through it because let's get i mean let's face it the world is a fucked up place and any way you can get out of it on a positive end is good but also, at the same time, you know, there's always a there's always a catch. You know what I'm saying? There's another side of the coin, my nigga. And check this out, right? So, there's burnout. You know what I'm saying? I feel like burnout is one of the one of the most fucked up things that you can uh experience as a musician because you're just like damn it's like one minute you feel like oh my god i can make amazing music and i can make so much of it right and then you just like kind of lose that ability or i don't know if it's ability or it's just drive you kind of lose that drive to be able to make music and it happens ever so often every couple months or sometimes it happens if something bad happens in your life and shit like that i had a real bad burnout 
like in uh March and it's like I made music for like the first couple weeks of March and then those last couple weeks I kind of just fell off and the very few beats that I made were just like Ugh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying so the burnout happens to everyone it can happen at any time and I'm not even gonna sit up here and act like there's ways to avoid that shit I don't know why people make videos saying how to avoid burnout you can't avoid it no matter how structure like how structured you are with your schedule and i don't have any written schedule or nothing like that but i do got kind of like patterns you know structure to you know this whole screw stash operation that i'm running here you know what i'm saying usually i wake up in the morning uh i try to get everything done in the morning so i can just make music for the rest of the day that's pretty much how it goes i edit videos in the morning make videos in the morning what you mean on that shut up anyway yeah i make videos in the morning i do all the video shit all the social media shit in the morning because that's when i have the most energy and then i like to spend the the remainder of my day making music or streaming shit like that you know what i'm saying that's pretty much how i do my days but what do you what do you want uh you just real talkative today huh <laughs> all right all right all right so check me out right what was i saying yeah that's that's pretty much how i do my days and you know even w like a well-structured day you're going to experience burnout man you can't just like do the same thing over and over again for a long time and not get bored of it unless it's like drugs but at the same time you kind of get bored of drugs too eventually if you don't kill yourself doing them bitches but you know uh sometimes you know the negative ways of coping with uh you know situations in your life you know include things like drinking uh there's a lot of things that can distract you from you know uh, you know chasing your purpose or your uh you know making music in this case you know i i make videos for people who make music but you know also, if you're chasing your purpose, whatever your purpose it, purpose is, but a lot of things that can get in the way of that, of course, is just like uh, hanging around toxic people, social media, porn, drugs, alcohol, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they happen to everybody. Some do, some don't. I've experienced damn near all of them at this point. And it's not really a battle to fight that anymore because I'm kind of like really locked in now. But it, it's been something that I was fighting, uh, let's see, ever since I was like 16 years old, because it's a fight, you know, it's a fight when you realize like, what the fuck is going on here? And then 16 is when everything just clicked for me, when I was just like, okay, I got to actually lock in on this shit before I fuck around and, you know, squander it all. But, uh... Yeah, you know, one of my biggest uh hindrances has been like fucking social media, porn. Almost every other boy goes through that shit. Social media, uh what else? Fucking uh drugs. Drugs was a huge one for me this past year. I used to be popping them them perks and them zans, man, and sipping that lean like crazy. And I say it it, it didn't enhance my uh it didn't enhance my ability to make music, but it made make, making music so fucking fun. And I was like, like for three months straight, I was just like high off my ass. I'm talking about dangerously high, right? Just like in a manic state, just making music. And like in my 2024 beat folder, if you look, no, my 2023 beat folder, if you look at like, if you look at the months of october november and december i made like 80 beats like in each month like just a fuck ton of beats like all different types of styles genres and everything like that like i was just like a music making maniac and like it, it will i i smile like thinking back on it you know what i'm saying like i had a lot of fucking fun like, I had a lot of fucking fun, even though, you know, some bad shit did occur, you know, consequences happen, <laughs> bro, I had fun, and if I had a time machine and I had to go back in time, 
I would probably do that shit again because it was fucking fun. You know what I'm saying? And I got a lot of great tunes out of it, man. Like, I'm still recording on some of those beats and sending some of those beats out today. And, you know, I'm I'm not even going to say that shit. I just thought about something in my head, but I'm not going to say it because I don't even want to put that out in this the atmosphere. But, yeah, you know, I, that was I was really, like, coping at that time, you know. You know, and I... I was using drugs to cope with all the bad shit that was happening in my life at the time. And then I was you and I was making music like crazy to cope with the fact that I was on drugs. Shit's crazy, bro. But I made a lot of good music and I was really, really chasing, you know, chasing something. I'm not going to say it was my purpose, but I was definitely chasing something at that time. But when, you know, shit hit the fan and I had to move and all that shit happened, right? Uh, then I went sober. I had a huge a burnout, you know what I'm saying? I got hit with burnout like crazy. And I kind of like damn near lost like the reason I was doing this shit in the first place. And I think the reason why I'm making this video is just to uh, explain how I found that again. Basically, it just came back over time, honestly. I just was making, you know, making music, doing the videos, just kind of forcing myself to do it after, you know, taking a little break. And as I got back into it, I started to realize how fun it is. Like, you know, once you get, once you get, you know, so far into doing this shit, it becomes work. And it's, it's been work for a couple years at this point for me. So I get like anxiety before recording music because I'm just like, oh, this is work. I'm working or, you know, even recording videos. But and I used to always I didn't even wonder why I thought it was just normal. But, you know, I kind of got rid of it. And it was basically just by switching my mindset, just taking a deep breath. You know what I'm saying? And remembering back on those times when I was like. 13, 14 years old, you know, making videos for like 1,000, 2,000 people. And I was having, genuinely having fun. And I just, I, I kind of like put myself back in that mind frame. And now it's like, I'm having fun again. Like I'm having so much fucking fun doing this shit. And uh, if you're at a point, you know, in your creative journey where you're like stressed about what you're going to do your next step, you just got to. Just gotta you guys you gotta take a step back for a minute. Just and just think. Like think back on a time when you were uh when you were uh fuck when you were younger, when you were first starting out doing your shit and you were just having fun with it, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna rename this video How to Deal with Burnout. Yeah. Fuck that whole escaping your reality with music shit. Yeah, this video is going to be called How to Deal with Burnout. I'm going to clickbait the fuck out of people because I remember in, earlier in the video I said I hate when people make videos like tips on how to uh like combat burnout because you really can't. But I'm going to stand on that. I'm still standing on that, nigga. But I'm going to just clickbait, you know, use my little YouTube skills, you know, clickbait. You know what I'm saying? I don't really make these videos for views, though. Uh, this is, again, like a personal journal of sorts to document my thinking, my growth. You know what I'm saying? Something to look back on because I don't really write. I don't really write like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm left handed. So it's like it's hard to write. You know, left handed people know what I'm saying like it's just hard to write. Writing is designed for right handed people. Not writing, but like notebooks and shit like that. They're designed for right-handed people, bro. It's kind of hard, so I just don't do it. I'd rather do it. I'd rather uh, sit here, get sexy in front of the camera and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and cut this video off now. I think that's enough yapping for today. Got to head to work in uh, about an hour. Uh, I just made a kick account and I'm back on Twitch. So I'm going to be making an effort to stream every day like how I was doing before. Really get that streaming shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be streaming on kick, Twitch, YouTube, you know, I'll put links in the description. So I'll be making beats, 
Uh, also listen to people's fuck. Shit. Hold up. All right. Just want to make sure the camera didn't cut off. But uh, I'll be listening to people's beats on Discord, too. Like, be doing beat ratings. Little beat competition, shit like that. It'll be lit. So, I'll be on Kick, Twitch, YouTube, like I said. And I'll also be streaming on TikTok, too. Uh, making beats on there. You know, you know the deal. But, yeah. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, subscribe to this channel. If you want to buy some beats. Uh Beat stars, you know, deal. Keep being awesome. Don't let niggas uh, get you down. You know what I'm saying? Cause you you that you that guy or that girl. You know what I'm saying? Peace out.